The supercarrier is designed to challenge U.S. naval dominance is taking shape. China is pressing ahead with a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier said to be the largest ever built outside the United States, as construction activity gathers pace at the Dalian shipyard. China has officially commenced construction of the Type 004, a nuclear-powered supercarrier expected to displace over 110,000 tons, signaling a historic leap in Beijing's quest to rival U.S. naval supremacy. The Type 004 is expected to be a nuclear-powered supercarrier displacing between 110,000 and 120,000 tons, making it not only the largest warship ever built in Asia but potentially the largest in the world. Defense analysts has confirmed through newly released satellite imagery that China has commenced construction of its fourth aircraft carrier, designated as the Type 004, at the Dalian shipyard. This development underscores the People's Liberation Army Navy's determination to transform itself into a true blue water navy capable of sustained global operations, far beyond the near seas of East Asia. The project also represents the most ambitious step in China's naval modernization program, reflecting Beijing's grand strategy to challenge U.S. maritime supremacy in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. Satellite evidence suggests that the kill-laying ceremony for the Type 004, may have taken place in recent months, a symbolic milestone that signals Beijing's confidence in its nuclear propulsion technology. Defense experts note that the vessel's sheer displacement would allow it to host not only a larger air wing but also expanded command and control facilities, enabling it to function as a floating joint operations hub for the PLA Navy. If completed on schedule, the Type 004 will mark the first time in history that a non-Western Navy has deployed a nuclear-powered supercarrier, a breakthrough with profound implications for the global maritime balance of power. Its nuclear propulsion system is believed to draw heavily from China's experience with the Type 093 and forthcoming Type 095 nuclear-powered attack submarines, giving Beijing a degree of technological confidence despite its lack of carrier-specific operational history. Analysts further assess that the Type 004 will integrate a new generation of phased array radars in shipborne air defense systems, potentially comparable to or exceeding the capabilities of the U.S. Navy's Aegis Combat System. Taken together, these developments position the Type 004 not merely as another addition to the PLA Navy's fleet but as the strategic centerpiece of China's aspirations to conduct sustained, global, carrier-based power projection by the mid-2030s. China's naval rise has been both rapid and deliberate, anchored by a clear strategy of technological catch-up followed by innovation. The journey began with the Liaoning Type 001, a refurbished Soviet Kuznetsov-class carrier acquired from Ukraine, commissioned in 2012 as both a training and experimentation platform. Beijing followed this with its first domestically built carrier, the Shandong Type 002, commissioned in 2019 which introduced incremental design improvements such as an enlarged flight deck and enhanced living quarters. The real leap came in June 2022 with the launch of the Fujin Type 003, a conventionally powered supercarrier featuring electromagnetic aircraft launch systems EMALS, placing it in the same technological bracket as America's Ford-class carriers. Fujin's ongoing sea trials have demonstrated China's ability to master catapult-based launch operations, marking a departure from the ski jump systems used on earlier carriers. With the Type 004, China is now venturing into nuclear propulsion, a technological frontier that only the United States and France have mastered for carrier operations. Satellite imagery obtained in September 2025 revealed significant construction activity at the Dalian shipyard, with massive prefabricated hull sections and modules assembled in dry dock. Earlier imagery from February 2025 had already shown the appearance of large modules consistent with carrier flight deck structures, including elongated sections resembling catapult tracks. By July 2025, additional imagery confirmed the presence of new industrial cranes and reinforced dry dock areas, suggesting preparations for the assembly of a supercarrier-sized hull. More tellingly, renovations at China's land-based aircraft carrier test facility in Wuhan, observed in September 2025, hinted at forthcoming trials for new launch and recovery systems expected to be integrated into the Type 004.
Social media users on platforms such as Weibo and X have circulated images of heavy construction equipment and new carrier components at Dalian, fueling widespread speculation that the Type 004 hull assembly is well underway. Independent naval analysts point out that the scale of prefabrication at Dalian indicates China's growing efficiency in modular shipbuilding, a technique that significantly shortens construction timelines compared to traditional methods. High-resolution imagery has also identified new infrastructure around the shipyard, including expanded cooling water systems and reinforced dry dock gates, features consistent with supporting nuclear-powered vessels. Defense observers believe the pace of visible construction aligns with China's strategic goal of achieving a launch window for the Type 004 by 2028 to 2029, roughly five to six years from initial assembly to sea trials. Parallel satellite monitoring of supply chain facilities in northern China has revealed increased shipments of high-grade steel and reactor components, suggesting a nationwide logistical effort behind the program. Crucially, the ongoing upgrades at the Wuhan land-based carrier simulator including a possible new electromagnetic launch track point to Beijing's determination to test and refine the Type 004 systems before full-sea deployment, minimizing operational risks. Defense analysts estimate that the Type 004 will displace between 110,000 and 120,000 tons, surpassing even the U.S. Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford, which displaces about 100,000 tons. The vessel is projected to carry more than 90 fixed-wing aircraft, including stealth-capable J-35 fighters, KJ-600 airborne early warning aircraft, electronic warfare jets, and advanced unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Nuclear propulsion will provide the Type 004 with unlimited range and endurance, enabling sustained deployments in distant oceans without the need for frequent refueling. The ship is also expected to adopt integrated electric propulsion, powering not only the propulsion system but also high-energy weapons such as directed energy systems and electromagnetic railguns in the future. No supercarrier sails alone. The Type 004 would sit at the center of a layered carrier strike group, escorted by Renhai class Type 055 destroyers for area air and missile defense and Type 054B frigates with a focus on anti-submarine warfare. Below the surface, Type 095 nuclear-powered attack submarines are likely to provide screening against adversary subs while contributing cruise missile options. This multi-domain architecture mirrors modern carrier doctrine, with sensors and shooters linked to protect the carrier while projecting power at range. Defense Security Asia noted assessments pointing to a possible launch window as early as 2028 to 2029.